Hi, my name is Takako Tanabe. My gallery is in Lower East Side in New York, and the, uh, my Instagram handle is Alteria Gallery. So I brought two artist works to this fair, uh, the paintings by Gaku Tsutaya and sculptures by Shirase Inoue. Gaku Tsutaya is a Japanese artist based in Queens, New York, and she has been doing, like she is a multimedia artist, and she has been getting a lot of exciting opportunities last year and this year. Her first institutional solo show at the Rubin Art Center at University of Texas at El Paso in Texas. This large commission installation will be traveling to Hawaii next year for Honolulu Triennale 2022, opening in February. And also after that, like he, her first museum solo show awaits in uh, Japan. It's gonna be a Japan solo debut for her. That is really exciting. She has been dealing with uh, nuclear issues and society and culture that began in 1945. And she was inspired by Tohoku earthquake and, earthquake and nuclear meltdown. And that has been her like idea and like inspiration for this past three years. So this group of work is something she just started this year. So like a brand new three paintings from the new series. She has been researching into uh, experiment US government did in 1960s, very futuristic, uh, bringing the nuclear explosion and like experiment into the universe or higher altitude. So she uses these iconic images and figures and combines those with like a daily reality and like a high illusion. That's how she created this sci-fi image. And then the inspiration of her is also coming from like 1970s like sci-fi movies and like sci-fi dramas. And like Shirase Inoue, he is a Danish Japanese artist based in Copenhagen. This is my very first time being able to show his work in the United States. He is very known for unusual material, like, a, like that, and then also a very unique way to deal with the object. For example, this piece is mineral spirits and water inside of the uh, orb. Uh, then the center figure is oak sculpture he carved from the wood. So because of the choice of material, water and like oil, there is like a mirror surface underneath the sculpture and he considered this as a post-human figure. You see a little bit of like debris of the trash on the surface and that is dealing and then talking about pollution and like changes or what happened in the future. He always looks for the connection and relationship between human beings and nature. And then this next example is a jellyfish sculpture. He's inspired by immortal jellyfish that scientifically called uh, Tripotheca durinae. That is, that is known to be just like living forever. At a certain maturity age, they just grow back into childhood self and they reduce their life and they are completely immortal. So this uh, sculpture of jellyfish, the head is made with sugar and tentacles are silicone and it's soaked in vegetable oil. And of course, like food is something that sustains our body and like, refreshes our like, body and energy. So she, he wanted to combine these two ideas and juxtapose like human and nature, how we sustain our life and like stay in this reality. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So this piece is obviously you can see the active mode growth. Artists use like creates this building or like human architectural remain looking structure and put a smaller figure made in wood and put the mold starter, which actually is yogurt, and he starts the mold. And there is like an air filter, so toxins and spores won't go outside, but air can go inside. So the mold continues to grow, and it's ever-changing artwork that you can observe the, in a way, the conflict and kind of a survival nature of the mold. And because we can only observe, it's completely sealed. So once art is put together, nobody can even touch, even artists or conservators. So we can just observe. 
And in a way, it resembles to the human cultural structure. It thrives and demises, and like we just can't let it happen. So that is like how he observes his relationship with art.